Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do you versus them. We're gonna go Aries through Pisces, all signs. We're gonna see what is your person feeling? What are their intentions? What are their next actions towards you? We're gonna also look at your energy to see if you guys are in alignment, if you're mirroring each other, or if you're completely on different pages. Keep in mind, it is general collective. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. I will never message you or ask you for a friend's request or ask you to purchase a reading. You um, don't get scammed by people in the comments. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started with Aries first. All right, Aries. What is your energy versus your person? You're in the hookup energy. You feel like maybe this is an intimate situation. Your person's in the F boy energy. So they feel like also this is a hookup type situation. Your intentions is to just be a nice person. You are loyal to the hookup that the two of you have going on. Your person's intention is marriage. So even though they are in this energy of pleasure, intimacy, hooking up with you, enjoying the companionship. They're also thinking about maybe long-term the two of you could actually work out. You're kind of closed off to the idea of the two of you having a relationship. You're maybe not interested in that. I'm hearing sorry, not sorry. And your person knows this is the early talking phase, but they see a lot of characteristics in you that they could potentially see in a future spouse. So let's see what actions you're gonna take versus your person. It looks like you guys are a little bit on the same page, but not 100% all the way through. For Aries, what is Aries' actions? The Magician, the Hermit, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so it feels like you are spending a lot of time by yourself thinking about the situation, what you truly desire, and if it comes down to a relationship or marriage, you're not interested. You're like, I'm out, I'm done. Your person's actions is the Emperor, so we got daddy energy here, Aries again, four of cups, and 10 of coins. They know you're not interested in a relationship, but they're trying to act like they're disconnected emotionally, but they're invested in this in the hopes that maybe you're gonna change your mind. So let's see what the likely outcome's gonna be. Justice, two of cups, and the hangman, wow. Okay, Aries, so you're not going to expect this, but this person in time is going to wear you down. Look at that, we've got the moon hidden at the bottom of the deck. So secretly, what you don't see coming is this person's going to actually wear you down into convincing you that the, the right thing to do, justice, is for the two of you to be together. And look at this, you are gonna fall in love with each other. The two of cups is all about committing to each other, making the choice that the right thing to do is we do want each other. This person is going to, with the hangman, convince you to look at things in a different way when it comes to them. So right now, it's just a um, hookup situation, maybe friends with benefits. You're very strict with that's all you want. Your person is agreeing to that, but it's kind of got a little bit of a back end ulterior motive, which it does look like your person is going to be able to convince you otherwise in time that, hey, we should actually be in a relationship. So it looks like you both are going to end up falling for each other emotionally. Okay, let's move on to Taurus. Taurus, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay, Taurus, what is the situation between Taurus and their person? Taurus, let's see what your energy is with your person. Unplanned pregnancy, direct message, and flirting. Okay, so this is something you didn't plan. You didn't expect to grow with this person, have this connection. Your person's energy, mistake, boyfriend, girlfriend, and thirsty. Your person was actually just seeking attention and maybe the two of you did hook up. Maybe you are actually expecting a baby together. This person feels like it was a little bit of a mistake the way things happen, but you are in an energy of in trying to embrace the situation between the two of you. It, it's already happened. Maybe trying to deal with the outcome of 
what has already been started between the two of you. It doesn't have to necessarily be a pregnancy. It could just be the beginning, birthing something new between the two of you. You are enjoying flirting with this person and communicating with this person. This person is thirsty for your attention. They're thinking maybe your boyfriend, girlfriend material. Even though they feel like it was a mistake the way you initially got set up or the way you guys hooked up initially, but they are thriving for more. So let's see what actions you're gonna take. Taurus, the hangman, the moon, and the emperor. So you're being a little bit stubborn with holding back your feelings and emotions, not really leading into anything, but you're maybe changing your perspective a little bit. Your person's actions, ace of swords, king of cups, eight of swords. So they're definitely caught up in their head because they are thriving and thirsty for wanting more and more attention from you. And they know things, they know clearly the way things started was a little bit of a mistake. Maybe that's not who this person's character is. Maybe they don't hook up randomly with people. Maybe they hooked up with you. Things happen. They wish they, they could do things a little bit differently, but the truth is this person already has feelings and emotions and they're caught up in their head like, oh crap, what do I do now? So let's see what's gonna be the outcome. Three of Wands, the Strength card, and the Knight of Swords. Your person is making plans for the future. They're building up the strength to realize that, you know what? Yeah, a mistake happened, but look at where we're at now. This is leading us down a path where we both could really go and aggressively pursue something in the future. With the Knight of Swords, there is gonna be a conversation here about what is our future? What do we want? What, what do we see? Do we see each other together or do we not? So it does feel heavily like you both are coming out of introspection with the Hermit in Reverse and you're getting into this conversation of, what do you want versus what do I want? There's gonna be a lot of communication, it feels like. All right, Gemini. Gemini, you want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Gemini, you versus your person. What is the energy between Gemini and their person? What's Gemini's energy with their person? Loneliness. Third party. I'm sorry. False promises. X and single. So, wow, Gemini, you got a lot going on in your energy. So, you are lonely. Your person maybe puts you in a third party situation. You feel like they should be sorry. They made promises they didn't keep. Now you have broken up and now you're single. So let's see what your person's energy is, Gemini. What's Gemini's person's energy? What's Gemini's person's energy? Nice person. Begging. Anxious mind. Acting crazy. Okay, so Gemini, your person feels like and the chase is in reverse. They're not pursuing you, they're not coming towards you, they're anxious because they feel like you're begging for their attention, you may be begging for them back. They feel like they're being the nice person, the nice guy or the nice girl by not acting crazy, but they feel like maybe you are acting crazy because of what happened. Maybe you called them out on some truth and the truth triggered them, they didn't like that. So let's see what actions you're gonna take, Gemini. Five of Swords. There's the fight, seven of cups, and the four of swords. So Gemini, you're thinking long and hard about the situation between you and your person, but you are saying, you know what? That's fine, you wanna do that, I'm gonna keep my options open. You do feel like the fight is not worth it anymore. You're doing a lot of introspection with the four of swords. You're realizing, you know what? I want peace, I want harmony, and I don't want you anymore if this is the way it's gonna be. Now your person's actions is the five of coins, which is interesting. You have the five of swords, they have the five of coins. So they do feel left out in the cold. You do feel the fight, they feel the tension. 10 of cups is their actions and the king of cups. They're not directly taking any action. They want to with that knight of wands at the bottom of the deck, but they're not taking action towards you. 
but they do love you. They do feel like they should have had more compassion for the situation of what they did. They feel left out in the cold now. Maybe you broke up with them because they did cheat, because they chose their family, they chose their friend, they chose their work over you, whatever that third party energy is. They made promises they weren't gonna do that and they did. Now this person feels like maybe they should come back begging. Maybe you begged them for a little while and then you stopped and you're no longer chasing them because we did have the chase in reverse. So they feel you're not chasing them, they're not chasing you. What's gonna be the likely outcome here for Gemini? Eight of coins, eight of wands, 10 of swords. You know, one or both of you is going to decide that, you know what? We also got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. You could be karmic soulmates. One or both of you are gonna decide that, you know what, we need to try to work this out, at least have this conversation. But I think after you have this conversation, you're gonna realize that, you know what, it's over. I can't give anymore. I can't expect you to keep making promises you're not gonna fulfill. You're not satisfying my needs. And I guess now that I'm single, I'm keeping my options open. Where your person is in the energy of, you know what, you're probably right. We may love each other. Maybe this has been a karmic lesson we both need to learn, but accepting defeat at the end of the day. Cancer. All right, Cancer. You versus your person. What is the energy for Cancer and their person at this time? Cancer and their person. Cancer and their person. All right, Cancer. Your energy, single. Trauma bonding. Running from love. Okay, let's see what your person's energy is. Independent, obsessed, and liking photos. So maybe you decided, so Cancer with the single, the trauma bonding, and running from love. So you could be feeling like, you know what, I don't want love right now. Things are happening in connections that you don't like, you don't feel like you can embrace. Your person's in an energy of independent, obsessed, and liking photos. So your person is obsessed with being single, but they're also obsessed with you. So let's find out what their intentions are or their actions are for cancer. Cancer and their person. Okay, first I wanna see what's their intentions. Cancer. Ten of coins. So they do want to be, your intentions is you do want to be with this person, but you're running from it. Your person's intentions is the Knight of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Magician. So your person wants to apologize for something. That's their intentions is to follow their heart. Their heart is telling them they need to be sensitive to whatever happened in the situation between the two of you. There's a reason why you have been um, feeling like there's a trauma bond either with this person or has been triggered within the situation with this person from something in the past. And that's why you are running for cover. You're running for love. You're feeling like, you know what, I should just be single. Your person is sensitive to this. They're, either you've said something and this person understands why you feel the way you do. Either way, this person's following their heart and their heart is telling them that you and them could make this work, that this could actually come together. That's why they're kind of in this obsessive energy. Let's see what their actions are gonna be. Page of Swords, Six of Cups, Four of Wands. This person is waiting for you. Let's see your actions. Three of wands, two of swords, five of coins. You are in an energy of feeling like, you know what? I feel lost. I feel like I'm not my true self. I feel like whatever's happening in this situation, I can't authentically be who I want to be. I'm a little bit confused. I'm really uncertain because these triggering moments keep happening. Something about this person keeps setting you off. And you don't want that in the future. You're thinking for the long term, I don't really want this. I don't need this in my life. And that could be why you're running from it. 
but your intentions is you do want something everlasting. Maybe it's just not with this person. Your person's in that page of swords, six of cups, and four of wands. So your person is feeling like, you know, I'm gonna wait and see what um, cancer does. I'm gonna observe cancer's actions. I am very nostalgic. I know the memories we've already had. Maybe you are twin flames, maybe you're soulmates. You know, maybe there's a karmic connection here or karmic lesson that needs to happen on your part. This person sees a sense of stability and security in the long term that the two of you can fix this. So what's gonna be the likely outcome? Six of Swords, Ace of Swords, King of Cups. The truth is that your person loves you unconditionally. Regardless of this trauma bonding situation, circumstance, um, these fears and insecurities that you have deep down, they love you. They're ready to get to calmer waters. They're willing to wait for you to do that. So they're going to wait and observe. Leo. Leo. Let's see. Leo, you and your person, what is the energy for Leo? What is the energy for Leo's person at this time? Keep in mind, Leo, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinecaro.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Leo. All right, Leo, what's your energy? What's Leo's energy? New beginning. Okay, so there's new feelings starting. This could be a new person or reconciliation with a past person. Falling in love and clingy. So you are clinging to the idea of loving this person, embracing how you feel when you're around this person. What is Leo's person's energy? Okay, we did see romance wanted to come out. So your person has romantic feelings for you. Leo's person, bad intentions, and fear of commitment. Okay, Leo, so your person, they feel romantic around you. They feel a sense of wanting to be romantic with you. Now, this bad intentions, this could be them questioning your intentions, Leo, or your person having a sense of um, insecurity because they do also have fear of commitment. So Leo, your person may be fearing that you are using them or you're taking advantage of them or your intentions are not the best. And that could be why they're fearing commitment. It could just be that they have insecurities within themselves and that's making them feel like, oh, you know, these are bad intentions from Leo. Leo's not authentic with me or Leo's um, not going to treat me fair or is not going to respect me or something like that. So let's find out, Leo, what your intentions are and then what your person's intentions are in this situation. Leo and their person. Okay, let's see Leo's intentions first. Six of Cups. So your intentions is to follow your heart and you are clinging to the idea that maybe you have a past life with this person. Maybe this is somebody you have children with, so you're holding on to the idea of the sense of family. Your person's intentions is the high priestess. So their intentions is to use their intuition to secretly make an informed decision about this intentions on your side. Do you have bad intentions or do you not? So I wanna see what actions Leo's gonna take. What's Leo's actions gonna be? Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands, Queen of Swords. You're very, very guarded, Leo, with this person. Even though you are clinging to the idea, look at that, hidden at the bottom of the deck, you're trying to work up the courage and strength to not be guarded, but you are guarded. You're very reserved, especially if this is somebody from the past. You have certain boundaries set in place. You don't trust this person. This person does have bad intentions in their energy. So it's whether it's them perceiving that about you or themselves. Let's find out what their actions are going to be. What's Leo's person's actions? Eight of Swords. Knight of Coins. King of Wands. They're very caught up in their head right now. They are coming towards you slowly for commitment. It's taken this person a long time because they do fear commitment because maybe they don't feel like you have the best intentions for them. And that's why it's taken this person a long time. That could be why their energy has this high priestess. They're, they're wanting to use their intuition and they're trusting their intuition over time about this commitment. So let's see what's going to be the likely outcome here. Temperance, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. 
They are being very patient. You're being patient. Four of coins. You're both holding on to the idea of healing this if this is an ex. If it's not an ex and it's a new person, you're both holding on to the idea of being able to be patient with each other and having something. And three of cups. So it feels like you guys are both working towards a sense of friendship, a sense of loyalty, a sense of kind of feeling the water or testing the waters out with each other. If it's an ex, maybe there's a trust factor that needs to be reestablished in time. Um, if it's a new person, it feels like you're both kind of wanting something, but your person's a little more reserved and you're more guarded. So you both are kind of like, kind of like the blind leading the blind, both just trying to feel each other out, not just what each other says, but actually actions behind it. We do have the nine of coins at the bottom of the deck. So you both still feel single in the situation but maybe you don't want to be single or maybe there's fears about letting go of being single, you know, losing your independence. Okay. Virgo. Virgo, if you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Virgo. Virgo and their person. Virgo and their person. What's Virgo's energy? Unfinished business. Anxious mind. Nice person. So you're being really nice. You feel like your person's being nice, but you're anxious because you feel like things are not over. Your person's energy, situationship. Taking it slow. And hurt your person doesn't want to be hurt they are taking it slow they are not fully committing to you they're anxious you're anxious about this because you feel like you know what this isn't over I'm nice you're nice we should be nice together your person is maybe been hurt in the past and they are maybe not over that trauma they're not over the damage that happened in their heart or their soul in a different connection maybe even something from childhood that could be why they're putting you in this situation ship they want they want this but it's like almost too afraid to take the leap. So let's find out what is your intentions versus your person. What is Virgo's intentions? Ten of Cups. Wow. So you feel like your intentions is you want to emotionally give to this. You're, there's a sense of loyalty, a sense of warmth, a sense of comfort that you intend to give to this connection you expect to receive in return. Your person's intentions is a strength. So... That's why this person's taking it slow. They're building up their strength and courage to realize that you maybe are not the person that hurt them, that that hurt is something from the past. If you are the person that hurt them, they're taking it slow to build up the strength and courage to figure out where they're going in the situation. So let's see what actions you're gonna take, Virgo. The Death card, Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles. You know, for right now, Virgo, it feels like you're accepting that there is some type of defeat or some type of ending in the situation with the death card or something needs to change something needs to come to an end if it's a new person this person's hurt you feel like they need to overcome that hurt before you can actually move past the situation if it's somebody from the past something has to change with actions we do have the three of cups so there is a sense of wanting to come together and we got the three of pentacles there's something about wanting to still try to work it out and figure out how do you work it out let's see what your person's actions are because your person feels like this is a situation ship. It's not a full-blown commitment. We've got the Eight of Swords, so they're very caught up in their head. Five of Cups. They feel hurt and disappointed. That's that hurt energy. So if you're the one who hurt them, they're very sensitive to the situation. They're taking it slow, if this is reconciliation, to figure out if they want a relationship. And then we've got the Page of Cups. So their actions is to be sensitive to their own needs. They may actually express something to you about this hurt and this pain, whether it's from you caused or by somebody else causing it to them. And that's why they're taking it slow. But there's a sense of abandonment, a sense of feeling lost this person has in their head um, that they haven't overcome yet. So let's see what the outcome's gonna be. Two of Cups in reverse, Page of Wands, and Three of Wands. So it looks like here in the near future, both of you are going to transition to wanting to open up and have this conversation. But with the Two of Cups in reverse, you both may decide that, you know what, 
now it's not the time for us to be in a relationship. I can't give to you the way you want me to give and you are feeling and that's how your person's feeling and you're, per, you're feeling very anxious over the situation. So maybe to alleviate the stress and the anxiety you're both feeling, it looks like you're gonna continue to stay not in a exclusive committed relationship quite yet. Okay, who are we on to? Libra. All right, Libra. You versus your person, Libra. Let's see. Libra and their person. What is the energy with Libra and their person at this time? Libra, what's your energy? What's Libra's energy? Misunderstanding, player or hoe, and courting. So something that has been misunderstood in you and your person's energy, Libra, you were maybe dating this person, you were casually getting to know them, you were starting to maybe have feelings for them, but something hurt you. Something they said, something they did, you could question, are they a player? Are they playing me? Are they just using me? There's some type of misunderstanding you feel like in this situation. What is Libra's person's energy? New beginnings, hookup, used. Okay, so we also have boyfriend, girlfriend at the bottom of the deck for your person. Let's flip this, because this feels heavily like your person is the one who feels like you're using them. You could feel like, you know what, there's a misunderstanding here. We were casually dating. We were not in a relationship. I didn't tell you I wanted a relationship. And I'm playing the field. I just want to dabble in different arenas or different bedrooms. I don't know what you call it. But you did have the courting energy. So maybe you were starting to feel like you were courting this person, but you knew deep down that you didn't want a relationship because your person's in the energy of, I want this new beginning. We hooked up and now I feel like you used me. This is how your person feels. So let's find out, and they also have boyfriend, girlfriend, the bottom deck. So they thought maybe the two of you were gonna be exclusive. So let's find out for Libra, what's your intentions? And then what's your person's intentions and actions? And then what's gonna be the likely outcome here for Libra? All right, what's Libra's intentions? Okay, Nine of Swords and Temperance. So you've been very patient. You might also feel a little frustrated, especially if this person is telling you, oh, I feel used. I feel like you took advantage of me. But maybe that wasn't your intentions. Maybe you never told them you wanted a relationship. Your person's intentions is the lovers. They fully want you. This could be a Gemini you're dealing with, Libra. They're all in. They could feel like your soulmates. They feel like the two of you could be really good together. They don't like the sneaky energy. They feel that you've, you've like put them in because they feel like they've been used. Let's see what your actions are going to be, Libra. Nine of Cups. Ace of Swords. Queen of Coins. Right now, you wish and desire what the truth to be is that you're focused on your own stability. You're focused on your own security. You're focused on yourself, your own happiness. And your happiness right now is maybe misunderstood with this person, but is to be single. Let's see what your person's actions are. Queen of Cups. Two of Cups. Wow. Six of Cups. You know what? This person feels like your soulmates. Look at this. We've got the Lovers, the Two of Cups, and the Six of Cups. This is all past life energy. They feel like you have a soul tied. There's a soul connection here. They feel a strong desire for you because of that. They may even have like replays of the past life. Let's see what's going to happen here. What's the likely outcome? The Moon. Eight of Coins. King of Wands. 
Your person's intuition is telling them they need to fight for this, they need to work harder to prove to you and take the lead that this is mo so much more than just a hookup. But it does feel like you're focused on your work. Your intuition is saying, you know what, now is not the time for a relationship, now is the time to focus on the work. Maybe you're taking on a leadership role, but you're really passionate about your work or your career or your um, job. Maybe you're going to school, you're passionate about finishing school. So it feels like you're on different pages, but it looks like intuitively you both are very persistent and very driven, but it does not look like you're gonna get into a relationship, unfortunately for your person. The person really wants this because they feel this strong desire. It could be twin flame connection that you are um, runner chaser dynamic where you're just not on the same page. Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, you and your person. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, Scorpio, my website's timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, what's your energy? What's Scorpio's energy? False promises, intimidating, and abuse. So you feel like your person led you down a path and they intimidated you into thinking things were gonna be a certain way, but now you feel like they've abused or taken advantage of your kindness. What's Scorpio's uh, person's energy? I'm sorry, so they're very apologetic. Reconciliation and third party. I'm hearing they took your kindness for weakness, Scorpio. They have really taken advantage of the situation. They maybe felt made you feel like you were disposable, that you were not somebody who they could um, they could keep. With this intimidation, it feels like they did intimidate you by making promises to you that they were not that person, and now they're feeling sorry. They are wanting reconciliation whatever this third party energy is. So let's find out what your intentions are versus your person's intentions. And then let's see what is gonna be the likely outcome here. Intentions, actions, and likely outcome for Scorpio. Scorpio. All right, what's Scorpio's intentions with their person? King of Cups. So you were intending to fall in love with this person, to feel comfortable, to feel that this person is compassionate with your emotions. What's your person's intentions? The Chariot, to keep it moving. What's the uh, Scorpio's actions? Nine of coins, four of coins, and the faith card. So you are holding back, but you're also holding on at the same time. There's a sense of independence here. You are caught up in your head. It looks like you're not taking any action towards this person. What's your person's intentions? Or I'm sorry, actions. What's Scorpio's person's actions? Six of coins, 10 of cups, 10 of swords, 10, 10. So, there is something off with this person. They want happiness, but they want happiness at the cost of whatever they want. So it does feel like this person wants their cake and eat it too. What's gonna to be the likely outcome? Judgment, so there's a decision made. The moon in reverse, your intuition is calling to you. And the eight of coins. So it does feel like, it does feel like um, this person is not willing to work on it. You're not willing to work on it because this person um, maybe has intimidated you since you called them out on what you felt was them abusing your kindness for weakness. Okay. Let me show you my puppy. This is Penny. She's my little itty bitty. So that's who I keep looking at on the floor because she's getting caught in my hair. She's roaming around. Okay. Let's go to Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius. You and your person. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, Sagittarius, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. 
Sagittarius.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what's your energy? Fake. So you feel like your person might be not being honest. F boy. And unfinished business. Okay, what's your person's energy? Sagittarius's person's energy. Gossip. Begging. And gaslighting. Okay, so Sagittarius, you feel like Okay, so if you're friends with benefits with this person, you could be faking it that that's all you want because you do have unfinished business. You feel like there's something more in the situation. For your person, they're talking about you, that there's a sense of loyalty and dedication, but there's also a sense of begging here and there's also a sense of gaslighting. So this person may not be very clear with your intentions here. So let's go ahead and find out what your intentions are, Sagittarius, and what's your person's intentions in this situation. Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, what's your intentions with the situation with you and your person? Eight of Swords, the Moon, Ten of Coins. So Sagittarius, your intentions right now is you're really caught up in your head about the situation between the two of you. You're trying to use your intuition to help guide you in making the best decision possible. But you do have the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Coins. This is all about maybe this is something that is going to be long term. Maybe this is not something that I should fake and act like it's going to be temporary or it's just intimate. It is something more long term. Let's see what your person's intentions are. The Eight of Wands. What is this? The Nine of Swords in reverse. So they're trying to communicate that they're overcoming trust issues with the situation. That maybe they felt like you gaslit them at some point. They're talking about that. Let's see what your actions are, Sagittarius. Seven of Swords. The Death. And the King of Cups. So your actions right now is you're going to lie and say that it's over for you or that things have come to an end. However, you still love this person with the King of Cups. You still have feelings for this person. You do have unfinished business in your energy. And you also have the Ten of Pentacles in your energy and the King of Cups. So you do feel like there could be something long term but you are um, not telling this person. It's almost like you're keeping it a secret. So let's see what actions your person's gonna take. Sagittarius' this person's actions. The devil, the lovers, and the Six of Cups. This person is obsessed with the idea of the two of you being together. They love you, they're obsessed with um, whatever maybe memories you had in the past, maybe you have children together, you have family, maybe you have a past life with this person. They're obsessed with the memories the two of you had. They're obsessively thinking about them. They feel a strong connection or companionship. So let's see what's gonna be the likely outcome. Okay, so we've got the Three of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups, beautiful. So you are coming together with this person as friends initially. It does look like you're both putting in the work. You're both really concentrated on, how do I make this work with my person? At the end of the day, you both wanna be happy. You want you have a sense of loyalty towards each other. There's a sense of comfort with that, that fireplace in the background there. There's a sense of, you know, let's try this again. Let, let's do this over, let's see if it works. I'm in it for the long haul. And that's the likely outcome is both of you are in it for what you can have emotionally with each other in the long term. Okay, let's move on to Capricorn. Okay, 
All right, Capricorn. You want your own personalized in-depth reading? My website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Capricorn and their person. Capricorn and their person. All right, Capricorn, what's your energy? Single. Talking face. So this is not somebody you're in a relationship with and proper date. So you are properly trained to date this person. Your person's energy, X, okay. Blind side, gaslighting, okay. So Capricorn, you are single, you're in the talking phase. This potentially could be somebody you were engaged to, the engagement got called off, got broke, you um, broken down. It looks like you are talking to an ex again and now you're trying to properly date this person. You're trying to start over, trying to erase and do it all over again. Your person's kind of blindsided because they don't trust you. They feel like they, you gaslit them in the past. They do feel like you're either an ex of theirs or you remind them of an ex of their past. So let's see what your intentions are. You intend to take it slow, slowly and surely, wins the race. Your person's intentions is controlling, so they are trying to maintain control. What's your actions? Quick start. New beginning. And acting crazy. Okay, so you may initially take things slow, that's your intentions, but then something's going to kick into high gear for you. You're gonna feel like, you know what, I want this new beginning, I'm gonna do something really crazy. Maybe I'm gonna take this person on a trip, or I'm gonna buy them something, or I'm gonna take them somewhere that they've always wanted to go, but for a new date might be something kind of out of the norm. So let's see what your person's actions are. Narcissist, meet up, marriage. Okay. So your person is going along with what you're doing, but they don't trust you. They're blindsided by you. They are willing to meet up with you. They're willing to go on this extravagant date that you're going to take them on. And they may commit to that. With the marriage card, they may commit to going on this property. So I wanna see what is your actions versus your person. Ace of Wands, so you are acting fast. Nine of Swords and Faith. You're trying to have faith in this situation, but you don't fully trust yourself because you there's something that happens that maybe you get a little bit possessive about this person. You really like this person. You don't want to lose this person, and you get really turned on by them, and the idea of them being with someone else freaks you out, so you kind of kick things into high gear. Does look like you are um, not trusting the whole situation, so that's why you're maybe acting a little bit crazy, like, oh, share your location with me, or I want to know where you're at at all times, or something you're going to start doing. You're taking it slow, but then you're kicking it into high gear. Your person's actions is the sun, knight of swords, and the tower. They're going to change up on you. They're going to aggressively say, hey, you know what, I don't want to be blindsided by this. I don't want this possessive, obsessive, controlling behavior. Their intuition is screaming at them that they need to make a change when it comes to the two of you. So let's see what's going to be the likely outcome for Capricorn. The Magician. Ace of Cups. The Hangman. There is a look at things in a different perspective. Look at that, Two of Cups. This could be a karmic connection that you're needing to learn something about sense of stability and control. Your person's needing to learn how to trust and not to assume everybody's gaslighting them or assume everybody's a narcissist. Um, they need to release a little bit of control and try to use their intuition to trust the process. There is a sense of both of you choosing this. You both see potential in it. Um, but it feels like it's kind of lingering. Like you take it slow and this person really doesn't trust you either way, whether it's an ex or a new person. And then something happens where you kick into high gear and you become very obsessive or possessive over like taking things rapidly. Like, Hey, let's hurry up and go to the chapel and get married. And your person's like, Whoa, Whoa, Whoa. Something's going to have to change here. But it does look like you both are still desiring. It's almost like 
a weird twisted way of getting to each other. Maybe you're both playing a little bit of games. All right, Aquarius. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Aquarius, you and your person. What is going on with Aquarius and their person? What is the energy between them? Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, what's your energy with your person? Obsessed? You could be feeling like you're skating on thin ice with them. Romance? True love, Aquarius. Are you in love? Are you about to propose to this person? What's your person's energy? Picky? They want a particular engagement ring. Unfinished business? Things are not over. And intimidated intimidating this person may be intimidating you into um getting what they want they feel like it's definitely not over between the two of you you are completely obsessed with this person the emotions you feel in your heart you get really excited maybe get sweaty palms when you think about this person your heart starts racing your person is super picky they are very intimidating uh, you may feel they make you a little bit nervous, um, but this person feels like there's unfinished business. Your intentions is a hangman. So you intend to change your life up and do whatever you need to do to have this connection. Your person's intentions, page of cups. So they're open to the opportunity. We do have the wheel at the bottom of the deck. So this could be a turning point happening. Let's see what actions you're going to take. Aquarius. The Emperor, Faith, what is this, Ace of Wands. Okay, so you are definitely feeling empowered to take action. You're definitely feeling like you need to take control of the situation. Your person's actions, King of Cups, Four of Coins. They're not letting go of this. They have a lot of love and compassion. They're going to open up, Queen of, uh, Ace of Cups. So they are going to open up, even though they're a little bit picky about who they open up with, they are definitely going to open up. What's going to be the likely outcome here? Eight of cups, 10 of coins, which is 10 of pentacles, and page of coins. So there is going to be an opportunity of commitment. It does look like um, one of you is going to leave a difficult situation to come towards the other one to make this work because it does look like there is an opportunity for new commitment here. This is something brand new. You both are investing in, in the hopes of having something long-term. Pisces. All right, Pisces. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is Timeless Divine Tarot. Dot com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Pisces. What is the energy between Pisces and their person? Pisces. What's your energy with your person? X. Proper date. Marriage. Ooh. Pisces, is, this is an ex you're thinking about. You feel like you want to date them properly this time. You want marriage. You want to apologize for something. You're sorry about something that happened. Did you cheat on them or you went outside the connection? Pisces, your person's energy is clingy. Obsessed. Unplanned pregnancy. And Snapchat. So this person wants to have a conversation. They're obsessed and clingy with um, the idea of the two of you. This unplanned pregnancy doesn't have to be actual pregnancy. It could just be an unplanned new beginning. That maybe they're obsessed with talking it out with you, trying to figure it out with you. There could be a little bit of hurt or abandonment issues. The person may not fully be trusting it. That could be part of that unplanned energy. Let's see what your intentions are. Ace of Coins, you intend to commit to this person, their intentions. Ace of Swords, they intend to have the truth and cut out anything else that's not the truth. 
Your actions, the moon, using your intuition to understand these feelings and emotions you have for this person. Also Empress, with the actions, if there is an unplanned pregnancy here, you are going to nurture this person. You're gonna respect this person. You're gonna value this person. You're gonna be there for this person. We do also have the death and reverse with your actions. So you're not wanting to change up your life completely, but you're willing to do whatever you need to to embrace the situation or the circumstances. Your person's actions is the strength card. Ten of Swords, and the Hangman in Reverse. So this is somebody who's not wanting to see anything outside of what it needs to be. There's something about they may feel defeated at times over what happened or the way things happened. It's kind of like instead of going straight through the door, they went around to the back door, and that's fine because this person is working up their inner strength and courage to realize that they're obsessed with the idea of the two of you walk, or working this out. Likely outcome, Knight of Wands. Ace of Wands, there's a lot of intimate energy here, and the sun. There's a lot of, um, you guys might enjoy uh, the companionship with each other. You might enjoy the, the physical intimacy. It may make you both feel really good about each other. But there is an underlying healing and happiness that you're both feeling drawn to have with each other when it comes to the situation. Okay, that is what I have for you. Thank you. Bye.